today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Dragon 1 9th Action Hero Vignettes, The Age of Ultron, Hulk. Just to, guys, just to give you some idea of how big this box is, there's the top of the box right there. And maybe as a better comparison, let's bring in the Captain America box that we had a look at. That gives you an idea of how much bigger Hulk is going to be just by sheer size of the statue. Definitely looking forward to getting this guy opened up. This comes us from the folks over at Dragon. And uh, this is one of their Avengers Age of Ultron maquette vignette statues. The side of the box features... That looks like part of Thor's arm, you would be correct. Around the back section there, there's the Avengers logo. And then we spin it around again. And there is a really great picture of the Hulk. Much like the other statues, there is that flap that's magnetized. So we just open up the flap like so. And we can completely open up. Yeah, look at the size of it. There is the full Hulk. Comes with a, looks like a, some sort of broken up uh, road uh, diorama. He comes with his feet, his torso, his head. Yeah, he's going to be a really big piece. Uh, without further ado, let's not certainly wait any more to get this guy opened up. I'm going to take a break. We're going to get this guy out of his packaging. And when we come back, we're going to get a better look at the Dragon 1-9th Action Hero Vignette, the Avengers Age of Ultron Hulk. It's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Like we've seen with the other vignettes, Hulk is comprised of multiple parts. Uh, first things first, he does come with an instruction guide showing how to put him together. It looks like he is only consisting of five pieces. Well, sixth, counting the display stand. And down below, one ninth action hero vignette by Dragon. Just put that to the side. You also get yourself in a very impressive display stand. Little metal pins will connect to the bottom of Hulk to have him standing on the display stand. You also get yourself the lower legs, a pair of Hulk feet. You get Hulk's head. There he is right there. And lastly, the very large, and might I also add, very heavy upper torso of Hulk, complete with arms. In fact, this is the only uh, vignette uh, statue that we've had a look at where the arms are already intact. So essentially, you're just going to be attaching this to the torso, head, and then uh, adding the feet. But with that being said, what we are going to do is take the pieces that we see right here and go from this to this. And look at the sheer size of the Hulk. This is one of those figures where, first of all, yeah, you are going to need a display stand. You're going to need to attach him to his display stand. Um, I'm just going to attach it to the feet pegs like this line up his feet down below and there we go we have him affixed to this to the actual stand now I I do wonder by the way he's posed I do wonder if he is the accompanying piece of the soon to be released Hulkbuster and I feel like he's gonna be like this Hulkbuster is gonna be over here and you're gonna have the two combatants uh, you know trading blows but he's a really nice piece uh, he is very um, required, well, he's very heavily required in using the display stand versus some of the other pieces that could really be freestanding on their own. But uh, it does show, though, that all the pieces do have their really their own specific display stands, where I thought initially like all the pieces would kind of connect together to form one big city diorama. No, in fact, Hulk does have more of the rubble display stand Cap's got more of the city roads uh, scene. Thor's got the, the ruins stand. And then uh, Iron Man has his own uh, just display stand on its own. I really like the color. There's something about the color of this that I really like. It's not quite green. It's kind of almost like a yellowish kind of olive green. It's really nice. Especially with it being this lighter color. Uh, you can really see more the shading areas around the muscle. Um, and of course, he's got his purple pants down below. Still not 100% happy with the spandex pants. I still miss the old just shredded shorts, but 
still I really think this is a fantastic looking piece. Just to kind of give you guys a scale comparison, just kind of gauge how big this guy is. Let's let's maybe put him against Cap. Not literally, because Cap would be just a pile of goo, but there he is next to Captain America. You can see how much bigger the Hulk is, how much heavier also, I might add, the Hulk is versus Cap. And also while we're at it, there is there's the Iron Man. And then reaching down below, sorry, Thor was over, over on the shelf there. There is Thor. So you can see how all of them have certain dynamics to one another. The Iron Man does stand out a bit because I, I do feel like maybe he is kind of a separate line versus the rest of them. Although the rest of them have the same sort of paint, the same sort of kind of matte paint color that uh, Iron Man does do does stand out a slight bit versus the rest of them. And also because too, he's, he's more the articulated piece um, you know, maybe I would probably likely have just like these three, you know, together. And then I would probably have Iron, uh, Iron Man on his own, uh, on, on a shelf somewhere, uh, along with the, uh, the other high-end collectibles. But like these three pieces do gel well, having them all together. The only problem with the Hulk, is not really so much a problem, but the only thing with the Hulk is that looking at an impressive piece like this, you really feel like, again, he is the accompanying piece to something over here, or maybe something over here, or maybe something over here. But uh, if this is really intended to be a much larger diorama with the Hulkbuster, then I'm definitely interested in getting that piece even more so than before. Certainly a fantastic, a beautiful looking sculpt, beautiful looking statue of the incredible Hulk. If you guys are interested in picking this piece up for yourself, you guys can check your local comic book stores. They could probably order them in for you. Or if not, I'll provide the links down below where you guys can find out distributors and dealers that distribute the Dragon models. Today's collectible spot, we're having a look at the Dragon models Age of Ultron. We're having a look today at the Hulk uh, statue. Fantastic looking piece. Stay tuned guys, Spot's gonna have more collectible spots anyway. Thanks for watching as you always do. I'll see you next time.